a chance. Very first ball. It's gone through the hands. Straight through the hands. Oh, head down, and that's gone. That is gone up onto the bank. Long on's gone back, and third man's come up, crunched through the offside. Four more. Third man said he was vacant. A little bit of width. That is massive as well. Goodness me, Guptill's given himself some room, and he's hammered it straight down the ground for six. Come over the fence. Oh, excellent. Brilliant. Six more. All the way. Add another one to the list. Well, the problem is when you can only have two players outside the ring, Guptill can pick and choose where he's going. Third man was back, and this is more of a risk, but it's just good cricket. Inside the ball, and just helped it on its way. I think that's the length he was expecting in the first delivery. A little bit of room. No one down there at third. 50 record. That'll help. Four more. Six more, is it? Surely that's not gone all the way. It has. Add another one to the list. That's 37 now. Well, he won't catch De Villiers, but he's going to have some fun trying today. 38 off 10. 12 needed to bring up the 50. The slice come out. Wasn't really aiming there, but that's where fortune favours the brave. Martin Guptill just about standing off the pitch when he hit that. The crowd enjoying it. Straight down the ground. Four more. Moves to 42 off 11. He's trying. He wants it. 50 partnership. Yeah, he's also trying to get this match over quickly. Unbelievable innings from Martin Guptill. All out aggression. A bad delivery. Back of a length. It's hard to hit a ball of that length back past the bowler. Here's the list of the fastest ODI 50s. Brendan McCullum, just at the bottom there. Some great strikers of the ball on that list, though. Shahida Freedy, 96, 97 innings. Part of what was the fastest 100 in ODI history. Gone again, four more. 46 now off 12. He's only four away from a world record here, Martin Guptill. Brilliant striking. Bullings hit him over his head, over third man, over cover. Now wide of Madon. Again, shimmying outside leg stump. That's all freedom. And he's on. World record is on. Well, lost in this too is Chameda. Hasn't got through two overs yet. He's gone for 41. Well, 27 off this one. What's the world record for runs off and over? Back and backward square is back. Bold, brilliantly. We'll go back for two. Will they go back for two? No, they won't. Excellent Yorker from Nuan Kulasekara. There it is. Half century for Martin Guptill and a New Zealand one day international record as far as fastest 50s are concerned. Great striking. A round of applause from everyone concerned. Terrific display of batting. Strike rate of 294. Five boundaries, four sixes. An incredible record. Oh, missed it. Just wide. Maybe a little finger. Up till picks up four more. It was a drag down from the leg spinner and a tough chance. Familiar name there, McCullum on there four times. Corey Anderson's innings in the middle of a 35 ball hundred. That was some striking that day as well. But Martin Gupta with the top of the tree. Oh, that'll be six more. That will be six more. Boy, that sounded sweet. Law, oh, that's over. It's over the bank. Not even an opportunity for anyone at the top of the bank. That has cleared it.
Martin Guptill just motioned to Tom Latham was a top spinner. Doesn't matter. It's gone way over the top of the embankment. That is huge. Port Hall's in the background. Watch it land. Great footage. Over the offside. Six more. Just seeing the ball so clearly now, Martin Guptill being able to just pick and choose where he wants to hit it. Flat again, straight. Right before that one. Just going to have a little look upstairs. There's a right down towards our camera at ground level. Well, I wouldn't have thought New Zealand would be able to best there. That's just short. Has it caught the front of the rope? I didn't think New Zealand would be able to beat their 100 inside 10 overs in the first ODI, but they're going a long way. Yeah, comfortably four, comfortably four by six inches, but what a great exhibition from Martin Guptill. Now that he's got no fear. Oh, just add another six to the list. Into the bank. Six more, takes the score. <laughs> Through to 97 without loss after six overs. Twenty-six runs of Van der Sar's first over. You have to say, Martin Guptill didn't really take a risk. Just hit through the line, no turn. Excellent catch in the crowd. Doris about man of the match. Good man of the match yep. debate. Another four for Guptill. Martin Guptill can't play this way if, if New Zealand don't bowl Sri Lanka out as the hundred comes up. New Zealand don't bowl Sri Lanka out for 117. He can't play this way. Can't afford no, to. No, yeah, I would have. It's flicked out the front. That's the carom ball. But I would have voted for Matt Henry because it's his four wickets again that have enabled New Zealand to chase such a paltry total. 100%. 100%. We always give it to the bowlers on a flat wicket. We've all talked about how good this batting surface is. That's four more. And Martin Guptill's proving, he's proving the fact that it's just a good flat track. It's a batting surface. Bowler gets four for, he's got to get a man of the match. Well, exactly. Although, in saying that, he's on target now to get the fastest hundred ever. A.B. de Villiers, 31 balls. That's from memory. I'm hoping I'm right with that. Get Francis Payne onto it. Uh, Over. He can't get it, can he? If he hits a six and a four... And then another six. Six, four, six. Yep. He will be exactly 100. And the score will go past. Yeah, yeah. Trouble is, that one puts it beyond the reach now. No, I'm with you, Dooley. I've gone not Matt Henry. Look, his Richardson bowling wants to say. Up. Mark Richardson wants to say. That's six more. Lovely strike from Guptill up onto the bank again. Goodness me, we've seen some wonderful power hitting. Well, Mark Richardson wants to say as well. Yeah, I agree with you, Simon, that the bowlers have given him the opportunity to bat this way, but he has batted this way. He has taken the opportunity. Yeah, it's a good call. It's a good call. It's been, it's been outstanding to watch. Wonderful to watch. This display of power, of time.